And then we got number four moving. Looks like it's not coming too bad either. All that soaking and whatever uh, probably helped. And a good tool. And a good tool. Now that one's coming out a whole lot easier than any other one we've ever done. I think I'm going to reverse direction and take it back in a little bit. Yeah, it's not turning that bad, really. Yeah. Kind of work it in and out a little bit. Kind of helps to free stuff up. As he's turning, you can see just all kinds of stuff coming out of here. You can see down here, stuff's already peeled out. I think that's old O-ring and stuff in there. Getting close on number four. All kinds of crud coming out of there. You might be out of the threads now. I think we're out of the threads. Yep, out of the threads. Yep. There it is. Now they look good. Yeah, you see, here's where we're binding, I'm sure. Yeah. You can see how she's just crusty in there. Well, it's build up. It's even yep. up over the O-ring right there. Yeah. Not much of the O-ring. Lots but, of good stuff on the threads, though. I like to see that. Yeah. When we're talking about the threads, that's in this area right here when it comes out. One reason we work that back and forth is if it binds too much, when you almost have one or two threads left in there, you'll have a tendency to pop them loose. So we kind of keep working them back and forth, keeps uh, tension off them last couple of threads. Okay, we're on number three. You can see he's got the extension on there. Yeah, that was coming loose. You hear it popping. So number two is still in question yet. Yeah, this will come. We got her going. We'll just work her back and forth, keep working some penetrant into her, and I think we got this one made. Okay, we've had that out. We've run it in. Now we're coming out with her again. Been working a penetrant in. At least it's finally, uh, it's not snapping in there anymore. It's like it's really tight, so I think we're getting that penetrant all kind of into where we need her. Got this one, number three, just about out. Got to be close to being out of the threads now. She's, She's turning easier. easier all the time. Turns easy enough we don't need the cheater bar anymore anyway. Yeah, she's really coming loose now. Just keep working it. Even if it's still stuck toward the top, it'll drain that rust out of there. Pretty sure the threads are out now. She has that feel to it. Yep. There we, there we got it. It moved a little now. bit. Yep, there it is. Ooh. A little bit old mouse nest, I think. Something maybe in maybe there. water pump packing. Yeah, it don't look like mouse nest stuff. Look how dry that still was. Yeah. That's where our bind is, I'm sure, is right at the top of that. Threads are good there, too. No yep. scoring. So, one left. One to go. Okay, we're about to test number two. Getting the tool installed. Oh, squat's getting on the end of her. We'll see what happens here. Hey. It moved. It's moving. I think we've got uh, number two lick now. We'll just work that back and uh, forth. And careful, it's not out yet. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he gets nervous when I start talking positive here. We'll just work her back and forth a little bit, keep working some penetrant in it. As long as it's moving, we're pretty confident this will come out. Okay, last one, number two, is just about out. And have we got the stuff peeling loose here, you can see right there. That's old O-ring. That's old O-ring. That's pretty much why it's kind of nice to replace some O-rings on these old units. About the time you get one all fixed up, that thing's going to start leaking there, and you've got to start all over again. Yeah, we just about got this one. She's really starting to turn good now. It's a victory when you only need four pound, or four feet of cheap, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can't get rid of the bar now. It's 
Still stiff in there, though. Still tight. It's that rust. Get some more stuff in through that set screw hole. At least that gets us below that O-ring. Some people call this fun, right? Yeah. I think we're just about out with it. Gotta be just about out. It's getting really, really easy to turn now. Kind of turn and pull out at the same time. It wobbled a little bit. Yep. There, there we, we go. got her. Success. Well, we haven't seen threads yet. <laughs> yeah, those got a little mashed. Yeah, They're a little bit flat. You can see a little bit in there. From what I can see of the head, it doesn't look bad. That's the important part. Yeah, as long as the head's good on them threads. From what we can see in this side, she looks pretty good. Looks like maybe the top thread up in here took it a little bit. Yeah. But I got about a dozen good ones below it, so yeah. I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, success. Found some surprises in this one. Yeah. You never know what you're going to find in some of these things that sat around just for a while. About, just about to have it dug out. Yeah, look at that. I don't even know what that is. It looks almost like a, out of a seat material or something. Big old gob of it anyway, good lord. Something made a home in there. You talk about something that will uh, cause cooling problems. <laughs> Just oh keeps, my god, look at the pile. Yeah, it was totally packed between two and three. Yeah. There, I finally, yeah, that's it. I got it out. Huh. All kinds of nice surprises. You just never know, do you? Well, I'm happy to report that I've been able to run the tap through all the threaded bores for the pre-combustion chambers. This was the last one here. This is the one that uh, Suffered a little bit of damage up towards the top, but it cleaned right up, and they all look really, really good. Just for your guys' information, these are a 1 inch by 12 thread pitch on all these for the D3400. Just give you guys a look at the threaded openings for those chambers. Honestly... We are looking pretty darn good in there, all things considered. And even the seat area up inside up here where those uh, copper washers seal up in there look pretty good on this. So finally, we finally have a fully disassembled cylinder head. Boy, am I glad to have all four of those chambers out of there. Man, is that a good feeling. And like I said, we've got two sets to uh, choose from now. We just need to get four good ones out of all of these. This is the one that uh, suffered the most damage on the threads coming out of 2115's old head, and it honestly cleaned up a lot better than I thought it would. Um, quite a bit more cleaning left to do on it, but between those eight, I should find a serviceable set of four. So, all right, we'll take victories anywhere we can get them, right? That was quite a prolonged process trying to get those things out. We put it through that evapo-rust soak for about a week, got everything pretty well cleaned out inside of there. And then uh, I soaked the heck out of that with uh, PB Blaster and a couple of other uh, homebrew uh, <laughs> uh, penetrating oil mixtures for about three weeks after that. Um, I think it helped on number four, but honestly, two and three were pretty darn stuck. They stayed pretty darn dry and it was up in that top area where I'm pretty sure the majority of the, uh, the sticking was taking place. That's where all the corrosion was. But with the... Uh, persistence and a, trying to buy the first tool and that got lost and then found the second tool and honestly that thing worked pretty good so I mean that was another thing that helped us a lot. We don't have the flex of like a home brew welded up bolt and granted I put about seven feet of cheater bar on that uh, on that breaker bar anyway right wrong or otherwise. We got them all out and it's up to the machine shop now to decide how good that head is. At this point in time, I don't know that I'm going to be taking it in anywhere anytime soon. Um, they're starting to really clamp down on unnecessary commingling and unnecessary trips and stuff due to the virus outbreak. Keep in mind, too, that by the time you guys see these videos, they're usually at least a week old. 
you know so at this point in time it's starting to look like things are getting pretty tight out there we will see so anyway we got chambers out finally thanks for watching everybody more progress to come on 1113